It's your girl Shaw Day from the T Dot providing you with the T. All y'all in the comment section have been asking about Karen and Miles, and we about to give y'all a life update on the two. So y'all have to stay tuned. We also gonna cover Brianna and her pregnancy. We have not seen Miles in a minute. It's only right that we start this commentary off by giving a life update on Miles. So recently, Miles was invited to see the Baltimore Ravens play. And y'all see that from the womb, both Miles and his sister were fans of Baltimore Ravens. So the fact that he got the opportunity to actually see them play, meet them, run on the field, was a magnificent opportunity for him. For all the OGs and aunties, y'all already know that Miles played football in college. So y'all know he is more than excited to be standing on that field with so many influential people. Look at Miles and his sister. They living their best life. And I'm happy for them. Now I'm going to switch over to Karen. As y'all already know, December 2022 was supposed to be the year that Karen and Miles went to Dubai. Unfortunately, Miles couldn't join Karen, but she went with her girls and she lived it up in Dubai. It's very sleepover. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Feeding to the colors and even the cheeky neon signs gave the perfect picture. Karen trying to give y'all a view of her individual lashes. Slay. Yeah, I'm so messed up. I legit have no concept of time or understanding of time right now. Like, I know what time it is here in Dubai, but like, I've never been this jet lagged before. Karen, I feel ya. There is a 10 hour time difference between New Orleans and Dubai. I can understand why you'd be jet lagged. Now I'm trying to get my life together because we're supposed to get up and go eat dinner. Karen, y'all better eat a three-course meal. And I haven't eaten all day, but it's like nine o'clock. Well, no, dinner's at nine o'clock. It's like eight o'clock here. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yes, y'all, that is DJ Jess. And look at the girls toasting with some champagne. This was Karen Fierce's fit for the evening. <laughs> that chef took out the hammer. That's when you know it's serious. What is it? Salt ice? I don't even know what's going on for real. <laughs> Is the fish in there? <gasps> the fish is in there. I ain't never seen nothing like that. The fish was in the ice. Find this tea kettle for me. That kettle look bougie. Comment down below. What kind of tea do you think this is? <laughs> you already know. I'm the only. Just my honey. The girls are full and now they ready to hit the club. Look at Karen Fierce, DJ Jess, and the rest of their friends. They are living it up in Dubai. What do I do? Not everybody would be living it up.
The Brianna Morales is ready to answer some pregnancy questions. Let's get here lately. It. Just surrounding the holidays because I don't know. I've just been spending quality time with Vincent and hanging out in the house. It's been great. But ask me anything. Y'all need life updates? Yeah, girl. We need you to fill us in. The baby is not here yet. Her car seat is back there, though. But she's not here. I know y'all are going to ask. So that one question is answered. I actually feel really good. I am exhausted, just overly tired thinking about like all the what is. Girl, we pray for you on the safe delivery of your baby girl. Bella is actually her middle name. We haven't quite decided on the first name yet, but I know a lot of people thought it was like it was Bella Swan because um her baby shower thing was bella's swan soiree but no it's not bella swan i don't think that fits her well i don't know what fits her until i see her face but um we decided on bella for a middle name in time the parents will find the perfect name decided on bella for a middle name and that means beautiful or beauty in dominican um or in spanish so, we're still deciding on a first name. We need something with true meaning. I feel like this is a loaded question because who really knows if they're ready for marriage? Like, you can say it, just like many cast members on Married at First Sight have come in and said, I'm ready for marriage, and then figure out pretty quickly that they're not. So, even for myself, I thought I was ready for marriage because I was whole with myself and um, loved myself. I was a hundred percent in my career like whatever i was doing my thing um and i thought i was ready for marriage but then found out that i really wasn't ready for marriage um because i didn't know all that marriage entails i've never been married before so i feel like i need to double back on this question and probably bring some other cast members um, or previous cast members into the conversation. I think that Brianna is giving some good advice. She's saying that you gotta love yourself before you can invite someone else into your life to love you. I think today's the day. And I think like last week, I told y'all I was gonna do a story time and tell you about what happened to me. Just click to the next story. <laughs> okay, so as y'all know, I have fibroids, right? Um, I went to the doctor maybe on, I feel like a Tuesday, and I was fine. I, I was having some Braxton Hicks, didn't think anything of it. Ended up having contractions for from like 11 p.m. to around 7 a.m. Called the doctor. Um, they couldn't get me in that day. Bummer. But they told me to go to the hospital around like 4 or 5 or something like that. Went to the hospital, was still having contractions. I thought that was it, okay? And we early. And when you have fibroids, that's very common. So I just thought, okay, okay, we'll have a baby. I hope she comes out healthy. Hope she comes out healthy. All that kind of stuff. Fast forward to, I don't know, like two hours later. I'd like to jump in here and commend Brianna for opening up about her health concerns while pregnant. She's helping a lot of people out there going through the same struggle. Um... I'm not in labor, had not dilated, which I was very happy about, but I'm still wondering why I'm having these contractions and we were timing them. So they were like 10 minutes apart or started around 10, 10 minutes apart and then they got to five minutes apart and then they didn't progress from there. I was in false labor and they call it prodromal labor. Never heard of it, but y'all, I was in pain, okay? And that is not the way that <laughs> if I could choose, I didn't, I didn't want to have her that way. Exactly. 
So ever since then, every time I go to the doctor, I'm thinking today's the day. So the baby bag is in the car, the stroller, not stroller, car seat. Have the car seat in the car and we're just kind of on go mode at this point. Karen Ferris continue to enjoy your lovely vacation in Dubai because you know we'll be watching and you know we'll be coming through. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Our channel is about perspective, knowledge, and understanding.